Hey, welcome to another episode of Legion Elite Motorsports. I'm your host, Isaiah. And today, we are going to be working on a turbo manifold for the Mirage. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, speaking of that, I have a block that actually just came from the machine shop. So we're going to take a peek at that also. I meant to film it before I took it to the machine shop so you could have uh, seen how rusty it was and filthy and all of that, but it totally slipped my mind. It was like a spur of the moment kind of thing. Mmm, thunder. Uh, but uh, yeah, so um, at least that got done. Um, there's still more machine shop time that needs to be uh, taken care of pertaining to that block anyway because... Um, Still got to get the O-rings for it and balance the rotating assembly. And there's going to be a build from bottom to top on that engine. So, yeah, that'll be coming soon. But until then, um, let's build the manifold. All right. So we have our blank turbo. This is actually a fully functioning and usable turbo, but... Uh, I'm basically not going to be using this turbo. It's just for mock-up purposes only. So we're going to swing that into the engine bay and we're going to see what we get. Okay, so this is the ideal spot. So long story short, when you are installing this, you want to do it with the radiator out. But anyway, we have clearance over here. And plenty of downpipe room. Now let's start getting some runners together. Okay, so I came up with this. Um, this way I'll be able to come up and then dab right into these three runners right here. And that way um, I'll have plenty of room for runner number one. It will not be an equal lane unless I come out and then loop around. All right, so the vision is starting to come together. So we're gonna have runner number two over here, we got runner, or excuse me, that's runner number three, that's runner number two, that's gonna go to that one, this one's going to go to last one. So yeah, this is gonna be interesting and should come out pretty nice, making some cuts right now. And the making of this manifold is coming together quite well. I'm thinking about switching these two up. Have this one go to here, that one go to there. Um, yeah. Okay, so I know it looks a little crazy right now, but definitely have to grasp the concept and it's looking pretty good. So we got two runners connected and you can see where the other two are going. So what makes them even flow is one and three are long and two and four are short. So when it fires, it'll fire the short and the long, then the short and the long. So it'll definitely come out good. Looking more and more like a manifold. Looking pretty good, pretty good. So we're going to butt this one together, the 
dipstick can actually be bent and probably park it right over here or uh, next to the AC tube, whichever one, but uh, bend that out of the way. And we got one runner left. Okay, we got another leg connected. And we have the final one to do. And that will technically be it. All right. So, let's take a look at what room we have to work with. And we have a lot, actually. So, we're going to get some nice angles going on and get this one connected. Man, this is pretty good for one night of work. It's only been here about eh, three hours maybe. But just tacking everything together, making room. And that's looking good. Okay. She is about 90% done. We have all of the runners ran. But we don't have a wastegate on here. So I'm going to pop this back on to the car. And see where one would be applicable. And take it from there. So let's get this on the car and see what she looks like. Check clearances and take it from there. I think this is going to end up really nice. Okay, so um, everything's looking good. You have access to the dipstick. And of course you can always bend this out of the way. Um, which I'll probably do on my personal vehicle, but um, AC line, it's kind of close. So you might want to wrap it up a touch and uh, take it from there. Um, water neck, kind of close which is not too big of an issue. Um, the requirements for the manifold will definitely be wrapped. And then, yeah. All right, so now we gotta check for hood clearance. And we'll be good to go. There's the hood perfectly. And not only does this manifold fit single cam, it also fits the twin cam, Mybeck. So that's definitely good to know. Uh, trying to figure out placement for a wastegate. Let me see. Ooh. There's a tad bit of room in the back. Might be able to put it there or something. I will figure it out. Okay, so overall, I like the design but I think it should be a little bit tighter. So I'm thinking I'm going to change runner number three and runner number one to be a little bit tighter, a little bit uh, closer. So the thing about doing is turning this guy this way coming across here and go straight to this guy 
So we're gonna shorten this one up and then for this runner, I'm thinking about turning, actually getting rid of this because this brings it too close to the um, AC line and actually putting a 45 degree or a 30, 30, 35 degree here and then having it come through here. Tighten it up a little bit there and yeah, I think that'll be much better and everything. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna get started on that. Hey, I wanna apologize in advance. I didn't uh, show you guys this. I actually brought the uh, Mirage engine to the machine shop so they can hot tank it and pop new freeze plugs in. Um, the particular machine shop I went to did not have the ability to run my O-rings on the head surface. So, um, basically, this engine was filthy, chock full of mud, and rust. Um, that's why I had them do the freeze plugs and hot tank it to get all of that uh, gunk out. Um, this engine never had any overheating problems um, at all. But uh, the previous owner of this engine did run nothing but water, so... I'm definitely going to, uh, you know, pop some coolant in there and make sure I keep that from happening. But, um, yeah, we're going to unwrap it and see what she looks like. Let me get a, oh, yeah, let me get a razor blade. Okay, so... Got the plastic off and I have to say that everything looks outstanding. Uh, you would have thought they painted it. Looks so good. But um, yeah, so this engine was hot tanked. New freeze plugs all the way around. And that's all I had them do, just hot tank it and um, put new freeze plugs. Reason being is because even though this engine had a substantial amount of miles, that is original cross hatching. You see, so it's actually in really good condition, this block in general. So um, the pistons that I have for it are actually standard bore. So I'm not going to be uh, boring this out or anything like that. I'm just gonna be cleaning up these cylinders and make sure they're um, up to par. And then we're gonna take it from there, but they did do an amazing job. Looks really good. Uh -huh. Yeah, everything looks great. Let's take a look at the bottom. Oh yeah, that looks great. So yeah, she looks good. Um, she is almost ready to be built. I still need to, oh yeah, nice and sharp. But um, yeah, I still need to, um, get the o-rings for the head surface because this is going to be a boosted application and no matter what when or where i don't want to be going through head gaskets so i'm going to o-ring it from the start because another interesting fact here in america we have no aftermarket racing gaskets for the 4G93, at least to my knowledge. I could be wrong. I also um, noticed that in other countries, they have uh, racing head gaskets, multi-layer, five-layer, three-layer, X millimeter, and all of that. So they are lucky for, you know, having that, but... Um, 
yeah this looks like it's good to go and uh, ready to be built so let me flip this engine over so we can see the the timing area all right so this is the timing area looks nice and clean brand new freeze plugs and up top here I did not get it decked or anything like that. Um, this was a perfectly working engine. It could stand to go for a little decking, but it's going to be O-ring, so that's not going to phase anything pertaining to sealing the motor. So that's that standard bore. Excellent, excellent all the way around. So, yep, it's going to be going to a different machine shop to get the O-rings and uh, should be good to go. Okay, so I made some subtle changes, which should definitely make a huge difference um kind of getting everything kind of tighter together instead of runner number three going all this way uh wasting pipe um i basically decided to go straight over bring this one closer and these two are perfect just the way they are and now we're going to put it on the car and see how she fits okay this is the final form um it's definitely way better fitment i like this uh design a lot better so as you can see everything fits perfectly dipstick is still clear and everything runners a little close to this one but you know that can be wrapped up not a big deal and then AC line of course that needs to be wrapped up actually the whole manifold needs to be wrapped up because it's such a tight compartment but overall this is a good starting point to uh, get these uh, manifolds put together properly. So this is just a demo piece. This is seeing uh, how each runner uh, should be ran. And then um, basically this one's gonna be taken all apart as soon as a jig is made for it. And then everything is gonna be cleaned up and uh, re-put back together and um, it's going to be TIG welded. So I used a MIG just to put some blobs on there just to hold everything in place. And uh, once the jig is made, going to uh, take all of the blobs off and clean all of the pipes up, take all of the paint off, and then back purge and uh, weld the whole manifold solid and then once it's welded solid and the jig is made, I'm going to uh, put in a, um, a wastegate pipe, uh, wherever works best. And then the manifold will be uh, completed. So until then, this is a rough, uh, you know, estimate of how everything is going to be but once everything's put together properly we'll take it from there but yeah i like it not bad okay and last but not least we have to see where we're going to be able to put a wastegate hopefully We'll be able to squeeze one in here. I ordered a wastegate and that should be here soon. 
so hopefully mystery will be solved but until then yeah need to squeeze a wastegate in here and that will be good and with that i hope you guys found this video interesting and uh, i hope to get your subscribes hit the bell icon for updated notification and i will see you next time we're going to finish up more of that manifold and some other things of course uh trying to get as much things done as possible so until then i'll see you next episode